Hello, everybody. Hello, Spiritual Biz Success Facebook group. How are you guys? Uh, so I had someone pose an interesting question. So I'm going to answer the question here because I think it's probably on the top of some of your minds, if not all of your minds. So we're going to talk about a few things. There's about three pieces to this. Um, the first part comes up because somebody w was kind of, I think, maybe a little um, miffed, we'll use that word, about not being able to post in my Facebook group, like promotional stuff. And I want to kind of talk about that and a few other things that are going to help you get out there to find your audience. So the first thing that came up with the question that someone posed to me was like, you know, I'm going to read it actually part of it. So, you know, if my goal is to help spiritual entrepreneurs, then why don't I let them speak to my audience in my Facebook group? Well, first I want to say that my audience isn't your audience and I know how to communicate with my audience really well. And your audience is different. And that's why within this group, I show you how to communicate with your audience. If you go back into the video section, there's a bunch of videos in there about how to communicate to your audience and how to make that connection. So a lot of times as new spiritual entrepreneurs, you guys hear that you're supposed to go into Facebook groups, go into Facebook groups and post in Facebook groups. And then people say, well, that doesn't work. Like, I don't understand. Or you go into the Facebook groups and the Facebook groups don't allow you to post. Well, I want you guys to look at a bigger picture of this. When, you know how we say uh, sales is icky, that icky, that whole marketing thing is icky. This is a prime example of why marketing and sales feels icky. Is because if you hop into a Facebook group and you just, and you post something without it being your audience, you miss the connection with your audience. Like a complete miss of the connection. So say you go into someone's Facebook group. Hey, Nati, and hey, Scott. And say you guys go into a Facebook group and you do a post, whether maybe you're sharing a blog post, maybe you're actually posting a promotional thing about a course or something like that. That audience doesn't know you, right? So now we're kind of pushing something on them. That pushing is what feels uncomfortable with sales and marketing. So now we're kind of pushing something in. They don't know enough about you to have that connection. There's a very specific process, just like when we're um, in a relationship, when we're dating someone, there's a process to be able to connect with your clients and your, your audience. And they have to get to know you. They have to know who you are. What do you do? How do you serve? How can you help them? What problems do you solve? Like there's this whole process that they need to know to be able to connect with and decide whether or not they want to interact with you. Just like if you're going to go out and try to find a significant other, say you're going to go to a bar. I don't know who does that anymore, right? Online. So you're online, you're looking for someone and you know, you have to read their profile. You want to understand that you have the same connections, that it all makes sense before you reach out and say, hey, let's have a drink. So the same thing is true within your business. And that's why I don't allow, not to say allow, but first of all, if I allowed you guys to post within my Facebook group, all your promotional stuff would be one big commercial. And I don't think anybody here wants that, right? That would just, you've been in those groups where they just post and post and post. It's nonsense. I'm here to give you guys as much value and, and content as I can so that I'm really specifically serving you. So that's why I go and allow just promotional posting because it doesn't help you. And then plus it's not your audience. That's my audience. And I've taken a lot of time to build my audience. And if you want to be really successful, you need to build your audience. And that's what I teach in my Spiritual Biz Bootcamp is I show you guys how to build your audience, how to connect with your audience. Because without that connection, it's icky. It's uncomfortable. That's why everybody says marketing and sales is uncomfortable. It's because you don't have a connection. So for the person that was asking why don't I allow the posting within the group, even though I'm here to really help spiritual entrepreneurs, then that's why. Because I'm showing you how to do it right Telling, allowing you to post in my Facebook group or telling you to go post in someone else's Facebook group doesn't work. That's not how you build a business. So then the second question that this person had was they asked me, and again, I'm reading it here because I wrote it down. So, oh, and so if I, my goal is to have 5,000 spiritual clients or spiritual, help 5,000 spiritual entrepreneurs in the next five years. You guys all know that's my goal. And um, do they all have to be clients? And I'm going to say yes, because here's why. Well, I give you guys a ton of information and you guys in this group, if you go through my videos, you're going to get all sorts of stuff. But to be able to fully implement and be a success, you have to have a mentor. You're, you just can't do it on your own, guys. You can do kind of like a tiny version where it kind of works, but it's really more of a hobby than an actual business. When you're creating an actual real business that's thriving financially and supports you and is changing the world, you have to have a mentor. So to be able to help those 5,000 spiritual entrepreneurs create those 5,000 businesses, yes, I do anticipate seeing them as clients. Now, if someone can go do it on their own or they have another mentor, 
totally cool. If I inspire someone to go do this and they get another mentor, it doesn't have to be me, but you do need a mentor if you're planning on creating a real business. So for the person that asked though, those 5,000 people, you know, do they have to be clients? Absolutely. And why wouldn't they be? And why shouldn't they be? Because I'm here to serve you and I'm not serving you by giving you a lot of like piecemeal stuff and not helping you actually get results. So what I teach in my spiritual business bootcamp is how do you get results? So that is the answer to that question. I think most of you guys know this, but I think this person was new to the group. And then um, they had also said that, oh, and that, you know, that they want what's authentic. They feel like there's a lot of marketing schemes out there and things feel uncomfortable. First, we all know we uh, really bring in our own vibrational, we create our vibrational reality, right? So we're gonna vibrate in schemes and things aren't right and marketing feels like even that's exactly what we're gonna see and that's exactly what we're gonna get. But if you can shift your perspective, change your vibration, raise your vibration to the point of saying, I want to be authentic, so I'm just gonna go get what I want. Let's not worry about what you don't want, what do you do want? If you wanna be authentic, you wanna find an authentic coach, you want success, that's where you focus, you vibrationally align with that and then you bring that in. So being like looking around, looking for marketing schemes and what doesn't feel right, well, you're gonna find it and you're gonna get it and it's gonna be right there in front of you and it's not gonna be very pretty and it's not gonna be a fun process. So when you're looking for authenticity, you go within first and when you go within, they just use your intuition. You don't even have to look around. You just intuitively know when someone clicks with you, right? There's just this connection with people when we're at our highest vibration, when we know how to connect and to feel into who we're connecting with, whether we're gonna work with them, whether we're gonna date them, whether we're just gonna have lunch with them, whatever it is, then that's what you have to be looking for. And thank you, Nathi. <laughs> Shea, I love you too. <laughs> so um, so that's, that's where this comes from. So to answer the questions, I think I got all of them, so I'll just recap for those of you that came in, but someone had asked a question, they were new to the group and there was a little, they weren't, um, they were, Curious, so we'll use that word a little miffed that I didn't allow you guys to post promotionally within within the group because as new entrepreneurs you need an audience. I a hundred percent agree. As a new entrepreneur, you need an audience, but you need your audience, not my audience. My audience is different. And when you work really hard to figure out who that audience is and narrow it down, it becomes easy. And Nathi, who's in Spiritual Biz Bootcamp, will say, There's, we spend like a few weeks doing this. Like the whole basis of the of being able to be successful is having that connection with your audience and knowing who they are. So that's why I don't allow you to post because I'm not serving you by doing that. And that's when it feels icky, it feels uncomfortable. That's when we feel like sales is pushy. It's because you're posting to an audience that doesn't have, let me rephrase that, that doesn't connect with what you have. When you really connect all that ickiness goes away. You're just authentic. You're just who you are and it's your audience and that's how it works. So that's why I don't have, allow you guys to post on the Facebook group. It's not serving anybody. It's just kind of annoying unless you have real questions. If you have questions, by all means, post or things to share this about your business and marketing, not about other stuff, guys. I will delete those because I'm really, really focused on getting you guys to succeed in your business because that is how you will change the world. You're not changing the world, talking with your neighbor, helping your cousin. You will change the world by creating a business. That is the vehicle for change. So if you really want to serve the people, create a business. That's how you get out and touch thousands. You're not touching thousands of lives with a hobby. So that's all my reasoning and I think I covered that all. So there you go. And yes, so the 5,000 spiritual entrepreneurs I help, I do see them as being clients because that's how I'll serve and that's how we'll have a ripple effect because we're not having a ripple effect playing small. We're not having a ripple effect by dabbling. We will have a huge impact on this planet only by creating the business that's gonna get you out there in front of thousands so that you can have a vibrational shift. So that's all I've got for you guys today. If you guys are ready and serious, dead serious about creating six figures uh, with your spiritual business, not a thousand, not 2000, if you're ready to create 8,000 and above in your spiritual business, get the clarity that you need to make this happen so you can really surf and private message me. We can talk about my boot camp, but make sure you're really, really ready. No dabblers. I'm rolling about the serious people. So you guys have a beautiful day and uh, I'll see you later in the group. Bye-bye.